it's been a bad week for trad pub that's traditional publishing they've had egg on their face from the world con debacles that have been going on they've now had their book sales numbers revealed and just how sad and pathetic those numbers are with the people they've propped up like none other Hi, my name is John Delarose. I am the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction, number one best-selling author, award-winning author, and I've done all of this uh, despite them. They've tried to blacklist me. They've tried to make sure my books don't get out there. They've made uh, smears against my name, and I have done this fighting the publishing industry on my own. I've published myself, and as you can see, my books are highly rated by Readers got 269 ratings on this wonderful book, and uh, I'm very happy with how my career has gone despite that. And we're going to dunk on the worst of the worst of traditional publishing authors today. That's Zoe Quinn and Patrick Tomlinson, two people that are just constructs of the industry, people who uh, have done nothing, have no talent, and it's shown the entire time as they've been out there propped up and made by this industry into names, but unfortunately, SJWs don't buy books, and that's what we're going to get into today. I'm going to go over Zoe Quinn's uh, illustrious career real quick. Uh, Obviously, she got uh, popular uh, from the whole Five Guys debacle. We we don't need to go too deep into that. Too deep? Get it? Okay. Uh, But uh, she, uh, of course, claimed harassment and all that, and uh, then made a career off of being a professional victim. She made a crowdfund where she stole the money and did not actually provide a product to anybody, and the game she allegedly was designing never came out. And then, of course, she got her biography about how she uh, was a stunning and brave champion against those evil gamers. And, of course, this is it right here. It was nominated for a Hugo Award in 2018. Now, 2018 is an interesting year because that's the same year where Worldcon, who has the Hugo Awards, banned me, libeled me a racist, and were forced to apologize after a prolonged court battle where they spent over $100,000 trying to destroy my career. Of course, Zoe Quinn's uh, Hugo accolades really didn't get her anywhere. I can't believe these book sales numbers. It's unbelievable. When you get to this and you see how much media attention she got, how much free uh, advertising she got, you're going to be shocked. It's going to be amazing. Well, of course, she parlayed that a couple years later into a a very short-lived comic book writing career. So this came out. It was trash, and I, I saw a lot of reviews about it. She teamed up with Robbie Rodriguez, who's famous in comic skate circles for posting a picture of his asshole, literally his asshole, on Twitter. Uh, and uh, he is a disgusting, disgusting creep uh, who despises normal people. And of course, it makes sense that he would team up with somebody like Zoe Quinn. As you can see, uh, not many people read it. Uh, 22 ratings versus uh, you know my book, which has 269. So, uh, you know, we'll get to the sales numbers of that and compare them to uh, how I've done just independently in just a second here. I'm not going to go over Patrick S. Tomlinson's book. Uh, you know, he has a bunch of books come out through Tor Books, uh, who's the biggest fantasy publisher out there, basically. They're the ones who rig the Hugo Awards and now rig the Dragon Awards uh, in order to give their authors accolades. Well, Patrick S. Tomlinson has just been a terrible lol cow. He's threatened Trump supporters. He's threatened uh, people who uh, you know disagree with him politically at all on Twitter over and over again. He's gotten banned on Twitter a couple times, and uh, he's he's actually threatened uh, me and my supporters uh, at Worldcon 2018 also. It all comes back to that year. Seems like it was a watershed moment in the industry where it, they toppled themselves by biting off a little bit too much uh, they could chew by taking me on. All right. I don't need to show his books, but I do have his book sales numbers. They are worse than Zoe Quinn's. So you're going to look at this. He's got uh, six books out, it looks like. The Ark, Trident's Forge, Children of the Divide, Gate Crashers, Starship Repo, and It's in the Black. Now, this uh, came from information on a website called the Kiwi Farms, and this fellow Boston brand claims to uh, be deep within the industry, and that's how he gets these numbers. Now, I can confirm these numbers. I've actually independently confirmed uh, what he posted, and uh, it's really dismal 
uh, what these numbers have done. When you have a traditional publishing company, you have editors and you have uh, marketing paid from Publishers Weekly. You have uh, book designers. You have you have uh, publicists all the way down the chain. Uh, you know that you have to get paid for all this stuff. Usually, these book deals end up with uh, a three book deal or something like that, where they give you an advance. And I'm going to guess it's probably around five or ten thousand dollars in Patrick Tomlinson's case. And usually, on the back end, they they then say you get. Uh, you know, 20 cents out of every book sale or something like that. Now, that's what Patrick Tomlinson's deal probably was. And if you look at it, the advance on those earnings uh, then has to earn out in order for a book to be profitable. Uh, and, the, and they do the number of, of whatever you percentage you get uh, in, in a way that they know that it'll be profitable when the advance earns out. So the book cr- number crunchers do that. And, uh, and then you hope that your book makes it and earns out and then gives you royalties over time. Based on these numbers, I got to tell you, uh, Patrick S. Tomlinson's books are not earning out. He is not making extra money on these books. Uh, They are failing very badly. Uh, With his best book selling 2,631 copies, that's uh, about 10 times less than what for Steam and Country has sold uh, overall. And again, I've done this myself. I don't have publicists or anything like that that have to get paid on the back end also. Um, And so that's pretty dismal. To be able to get into bookstores, to be able to get this kind of traditional publishing backing and to have that, and that's your top book, that's pretty rough. And as you see, as his series goes along, people buy less and less books. That's pretty normal. You do get a drop-off on your series. It's just people forget that book two is coming out, or they didn't like book one, or whatever whatever it is. Uh, That happens every single time. But to go down to 231 books, uh, that's insane. I mean, that means Patrick has really only made uh, a you know few hundred bucks for his publisher on this, and no money's going towards him. Uh, his career is a disaster. Uh, he has tried to be an edgelord and anti-Trump uh, guy on Twitter, and he's tried to make it his brand to do that. And as you can see, uh, nobody cares. Once you're a, once you're a white man uh, trying to be a diversity king, it doesn't really work out very well in your favor, and that's what these guys are starting to find out. They picked the wrong horse uh, in the whole woke culture. And, uh, you know, there's always somebody more woke than you, Patrick S. Tomlinson. And unfortunately, uh, that doesn't translate to books. The same thing happened with Zoe Quinn. This is the funniest part, uh, in my opinion. So you get these two, uh, books that she had crash override again, only sold 3,441 books. And this is despite the New York times picking it up. Everybody was going off and cheering on Zoe Quinn, uh, for her, uh, stunning and brave life where she, you know, uh, it's sad, but not as sad as her book sales. Again, I've sold a, a, a little less than 10 times uh, the amount of that just with my book for Steam and Country, uh, which I just put up on Amazon and it just keeps selling. Uh, <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, Goddess Mode, the trade paperback of her comic book, uh, 715 copies. Well, my Flying Sparks Volume One is up over a thousand. Again, I just did this completely independently. I did it through Indiegogo and Amazon myself, uh, and it's amazing that without publisher support, who who did cra- who did this uh, Goddess Mode? I think it was Vertigo DC Comics, as I recall. Is that right? Uh, Vertigo. That's correct. Yeah, DC Comics did this. Uh, this got into comic book stores. This was everything, and that's all that it could sell even with that. There's just not a market for this stuff. There's not a market for these grifters, and they need to learn and understand that. I think it's absolutely hilarious. We are having the time of our lives watching these people implode with Worldcon this year and with uh, the sales numbers now being leaked. As I find more information, of course, I'll be reporting it to you. What do you think about this? Less than a thousand copies sold, Miss Zoe Quinn. Congratulations. All right. Leave a comment down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and of course, support my great books. I'll have my links in the description below. If you want an alternative to woke culture, the real independent choice, I've got novels, I've got comics, I'm doing it all for you guys, and I'm going to be pushing into even more mediums uh, over the course of the next couple years. We're going to have fun, and the best is yet to come. See you guys.